What's going on guys, Blanks here, and welcome to Zombies. I am doing the camera grind for Borealis, I believe it's called. Um, I have done all the ARs, all the battle rifles, all the SMGs, all the LMGs, all the marksmans, some of the snipers, some handguns, knives I've basically done, done the GL, and got some shotguns. I've got two shotguns left for to get them all gold. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like, if you're new around here, subscribe, so you don't miss any of the content I upload, or if I stream, and, um, yeah, let's get into this. And also, before we get into it, um, I do have the, what's it called, the, is the Serpent Camo on, where's the guns, I have it on, what am I doing, change, I have it on... The MTZ, the MCW, and the DG58, I believe. Yeah, so I have it. Yes, yeah, so I have it for three of the assault rifles, and that's it. Because I forget that while I'm grinding the camo, I can just pick up, buy the wall guns, and then like start doing them. And I just haven't been doing it. So yeah. Okay, so now we're in the game. I need to find an outlast contract. Which there is not one I can see that's outside in the tier 1 zone. Why is that? I might as well have to wait for it to spawn. There we go, the one all the way top right of the map. So for the longbow, I need to get 250 kills with Napalm Burst and get 200 kills with it rare, with it rare or higher, I believe. So I believe this is the church one for the Outlaws contract, which is probably one. It's probably the best location you can get for doing the Outlaws contract, because the spawns are just so tight and like they spawn, spawn kind of easy and quick. It's not like the other ones where it's kind of more open and they gotta run quite some time to get to you. The one by the by the gym by the boxing ring that's that's a decent one as well. But I think this is the this is the best one. This is my favorite one to do because you can just run in here. Okay, you got the ammo. Run in here. You just boot it, and you just sit up top in this box, and nothing can really hit you unless the zombies, you know, like throw their flesh at you. But you just kind of sit up here. The dogs can't hit you either, and you just wait for it to to get up to like 80, 90 percent, and you start killing zombies. And the camos inside this, inside the Auslot contract, look, there's ten times better. The camo should look like this all the time. It's so bright and just glows so much. You can see all the stars as well. Okay, I wasn't paying attention and I just finished the contract. Uh, that happens so much when I do it. I forget what's going on. Okay, well that's unfortunate. There's no one over here though, so I guess I just have to go do that. But yeah, I'm sure you've already seen people do this or seen it online, so I'm just not going to bother showing you because it'll just be boring to watch. So we'll catch up when I finish the longbow. And so yeah, when it starts getting low, like, even like above, above this side, when it's like 50%, just step back in and wait for it to go back up again, rinse and repeat. It's quite, it is very, very boring, but I mean, there's no other way to get it done because extractions have been patched, well not patched, they just removed all the zombies. So this is kind of the only way to do it, or you do the spore control one. The spore, the spore control one ain't that bad, but... This is probably the best one for it. But yeah, how, how have you guys been finding zombies or just this cod in general? Is it one of your favourites? Is it better than the past cods in the past, like, what, maybe four years, I would say? 
Yeah, let me, let me know what you what you think, especially of the zombies as well. If you missed a round based or you you don't mind the switch up of a open world type zombies where you can decide where you want to go and do what you want. I, for me, I do miss round base, but I know this is just it's just different because every game is is different. So yeah, well, there's the fire damage and there's the kills. Now I just got to get a hundred kills of it, and then we're done with the longbow. Well, we've got it gold anyway. Okay, that should be enough because it doesn't pop up. That's the only thing I don't like for getting gold. It doesn't pop up. Now I can buy this AMR9 because I've got it gold. Or oh, I've got all the done all the SMGs. Now I can buy this. Go to the pack a punch and unlock the zircon scale camo for it. Pack a punch over there. I've got enough essence. Now with pack a punch, it just go back and do the exact same thing. But now just kill 300 zombies with while it's pack a punched. There we go, Zerk on scale camo for the AMR9 done. Now I don't know if I have enough time. Do I have enough I don't have enough points to pack a punch? I don't know if I'll have enough time to do one more. I've got ten minutes. The things around next okay, I'm gonna complete this contract. Then I'm gonna travel across the map maybe and try to see if I can complete another gun. Because this has to be pack a bunch to tier 2 hours, I'm not going to be able to finish it in zone 2 because it's really weak otherwise. So yeah, put these monkeys on. Let's just get this done. There we go, Zircon camo, Zircon scale for the this LMG. I was gonna, I'm just gonna call it the, the, the PKM because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now I need to get out of here because this zone is coming. Don't need to keep the gun because of um. Yeah, I don't need to exit with it. Unlike I need to exit with the longbow to get the gold. So yeah, let's get out of here. As you can see, Zircon camo for the AMR9 and the PKM and then gold for the longbow. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of zombies or the, I said the game in general in the comments below. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.